Scientific notation is a great application of exponents and exponent properties. We're in this video going to talk about the basics of scientific notation. Scientific notation you might have seen before, it's usually written as some number times 10 raised to some exponent. For example, you might have seen something like 2.81 times 10 to the eighth, or maybe you've seen 2.81 times 10 to the negative seventh. Those are numbers that are in scientific notation. And for scientific notation to work, the a, that first number, has to be between 1 and 10. It's actually never equal to 10. It can go up to 9.99999, but it's always between 1 and 10. In addition, the b, that exponent of b, moves the decimal point. It tells us how many times to move that decimal point. And also it tells us what direction, because if b is negative, that means we're dealing with a really small number, close to 0 small number. So for example, we looked at this 2.81 times 10 to the negative 7th. What that really means, it's a small number. It's of 0 0.12345628.1. It's a very small number. And then the opposite is also true. If that b, that exponent, is positive, it means we're dealing with a really big number. So that 2.81 times 10 to the 8th power example there, that's going to move the decimal point 8 times, making it bigger. 281 with six zeros after it. Oops, I didn't put six zeros. There we go. Six zeros, 281 million. It's a big number. So let's take a look at some examples of going back and forth between scientific notation. First, let's look at the example 5.23 times 10 to the fifth power. Because that exponent is positive, I'm going to move the decimal to make it bigger, which means I have to move it to the right five times. One, two, puts it after the three. And then three, four, five is going to give me three additional zeros. So I've got five, two, three with three additional zeros. It's 523,000. Let's look at another one. Let's try 4.25 times 10 to the negative fourth. Now we see the exponent is negative, so I need to move the decimal to the left four times to make it a smaller number. One, two, three, four. That one's also going to require three zeros after the decimal point. One, two, three, and 425. We can also go the other way with the scientific notation, though. I could give you a number such as 81 million 500,000, and you could put it into scientific notation by taking the decimal point from where it is and moving it to after the first digit. How many times did we move it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven places. So that's going to be 8.15 times 10 to the seventh. And because 81 million is a large number, I know that exponent has to be positive. Let's try one last example. Let's do 0 0.0000245. Now we're going to move that decimal point and put it after the first digit of 2 to give us 2.45 times 10. And the exponent tells me to move the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. But because our original number was a really, really small number, it has to have a negative exponent. That's the basics of scientific notation. And in our next video, we'll look at how we can use our calculator to help us do operations with that scientific notation.